There are a number of ways to code text, video, and audio data in Transana. We'll quickly demonstrate two ways in this video, but you will probably want to spend more time with Transana screencasts when you're ready to analyze your data for real. The process is similar if you're coding text data and media files that have been transcribed and time-coded. We'll demonstrate with video. In a nutshell, what we do to code text and media data is make a selection in the original data and apply one or more codes to that selection. Let's start by creating a keyword. In Transana, keywords are always grouped together in keyword groups. First, we will create a keyword group for some background information we know about our initial video file. We'll right-click the Keywords node in the database tree and select Add Keyword Group. We'll call our first keyword group Participant. Now, we'll right-click our Participant keyword group and choose Add Keyword from the pop-up menu. As we know from transcribing this video, the participant in this file is named Bill, so we'll create a keyword called Bill. Under the keyword definition, we'll put Bill's full name and we'll assign Bill a nice shade of green for his keyword color. The other fields of this form only apply to still image coding, so we can ignore them for now. Clicking OK creates our first code. Because this is a background code, we want it to be applied to all of the selections we make from this first video file. To ensure that, Let's simply drag this keyword from the list of keywords and drop it on the episode we created earlier. We could also use copy and paste in the database tree's right-click menus to accomplish this task. Keywords assigned at the document or episode level in Transana do not code the whole data file. Instead, they get applied by default to all selections created from those source files during analysis. Transana confirms that we want to apply this code to all clips created from this episode. If we had already made some analytic selections from this episode, Transana would also confirm that we want the code applied to those existing selections. Before we move on to analysis, we need to provide a bit of context about how Transana works. Transana offers two overlapping systems for analysis. One system that Transana supports is categorization. You create categories, called collections, and you perform analysis by making selections in your data and placing these selections in the appropriate collections. The second system that Transana supports is direct coding. You create a coding system using keywords and apply those keywords to selections in your data. These systems both serve the same purpose, to assign analytic meaning to selections in data. Let's look at our data. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just divide this very short video into an introduction, a problem statement, and a solution declaration. We'll leave real analytic thinking up to you with your own data. We'll start by highlighting the portion of the transcript we want to code. Let's select from where Bill tells us he's asleep through where he tells us that his daughter needs to print something. This is the segment we want for our first analytic selection. This is the introduction. Now we'll move over to the data window and we'll create a collection called Introduction, where we want to gather together all of the introductions for all of the videos in our dataset. We right-click the Collections branch of the database tree and choose Add Collection. We'll press OK and see our collection appear. Now let's right-click that collection and take a look at our options. You might notice that the option to add a quote is not available. If we were working with text-based data, that's what we'd choose. Remember that in Transana, Analytic selections are called quotes for text data and clips for media data. The Add Snapshot option is for still images. So we choose Add Clip. There are several things to notice about the form that pops up. We see the clip start, clip stop, and length. For media data, these values are taken from the time code surrounding our selection within the transcript. If we have text data, these values are reported as character positions in the text rather than time positions in the media file. We can see that the clip's transcript reflects just the text of our transcript selection. Down at the bottom of the form, we can see that the keyword participant bill has been automatically assigned to our clip as a code. That's because it's assigned to the episode. You're not required to keep this code. It's only a suggestion. We'll give our clip a name and press OK. If we look at our collection in the data window, we can see the clip there. If we want to, we can add an analytic memo to either the collection or the clip by right-clicking them and choosing to add a note. 
If we go into the Options menu, we can change our media visualization style to show coding rather than the waveform diagram. We see a green bar to indicate that a portion of our media file is coded, and holding the mouse over that bar reveals the name of that code. Now let's make a selection in our transcript for the problem definition. This extends from Bill's declaration that his daughter can't get her paper to print through his assertion that hardware problems are solved by maintenance men rather than the IT staff. Now we'll make a collection called Problem Statement. Instead of using the right-click menu, we'll double-click the collection this time, which is a convenient shortcut. We'll give our clip the name Hardware Problem. Let's say we want this clip to reflect the coding that it is a problem statement about a hardware problem. We've got two choices. One option is that we could finish creating the clip, then we could add a nested collection inside the problem statement collection called hardware problem. Then we would move the clip to the new nested collection. This is the way of doing it using categorization. Alternately, we can create a keyword to reflect this information through coding. We'll press the keyword management button here create a keyword group called type of problem, and create a keyword called hardware problem. When we close the Keyword Management form, we can see that our new keyword has been added to our keyword list on the Add Clip form, as well as being added to the database tree in the data window. Let's now add this keyword to the clip and press OK to complete clip creation. Again, we have the opportunity to add an analytic memo by adding a note to this clip or to the collection. If this were a real analysis rather than a demonstration, we would want to do this as we create each clip to keep track of our thinking process. We can see that the data window clearly shows our categorization and that as we add data to our analysis, we will end up with easily accessible groups of introductions, problem statements, and so on. We can create subcategories within each of these using nested collections. It's very visual and makes clear how much data is in each category as we progress. We can see the codes that we've applied to each selection in the visualization window. Assigning multiple codes to a selection allows us to create more detailed, more nuanced coding systems using coding than we can with categorization. The visualization also hints at how coding is reflected in Transana's reports in very useful ways. Let's create one more clip to demonstrate a different approach to coding within Transana. Let's create a new keyword in our database tree with a keyword group of analytic issues and a keyword of logical error. Now we're going to make the next selection within our transcript where Bill talks about how great it is to have a Mac. This time, instead of triggering clip creation from a collection, we're going to right-click the keyword we just created and select Create Quick Clip from the pop-up menu. Just like before, we could also just double-click the keyword as a shortcut to trigger the clip creation process. You will notice that although we never saw an add clip form, never gave our clip a name, never assigned our clip to a collection, or gave it additional coding, we can see in the visualization that a clip was created reflecting our selection in the data and coded using the keyword we selected. Pairing a data selection directly with a keyword allows us to create and code quotes and clips very quickly. Such selections, called quick quotes and quick clips, are automatically named and are automatically assigned to the Quick Quotes and Clips collection, with the assumption that the researcher can come back later to name them and categorize them if that's desired. This approach lets you code your data very quickly and make sense of it later. 
So we've brought data into Transana, transcribed and time-coded it if needed, and made selections from the data using both categorization and coding, and using both standard clip creation and quick clip creation. At this point, I'd encourage you to play with Transana, add some more data, right-click different items in the data window, and look at the available options, including the searches you can do with Transana and the reports you can generate. Transana's analysis tools give you enormous power when used with large, complex datasets. As questions arise, please feel free to contact us using the contact form on the Transana website. We're always happy to help you understand how best to use Transana to analyze your qualitative data.